What up, y'all? It's your man, Abu American. So, I had a question that was asked to me. Guy asked me, is mate guarding the concept of protecting your woman from other men? Or, you know, access, men having access to your woman, running game on or whatever else. Is it beta? And I'm going to answer this from the Islamic perspective and from more of like a biological type of perspective. First, Islamically, no, it's not. You know, um, we have separation of the sexes, of the genders in Islam, you know, to prevent stuff from happening. People, people have a base nature. People make mistakes. People do things on the spur of the moment. People do things that are just, you know, you get into a room with a girl because this, this uh, separation of the genders applies to both men and women. This is not something that's gender specific. So, you know, a guy ends up in a room with a girl. The girl really wants the guy. She starts turning up the heat. Most of the time, the guy's not going to turn it down. You know, especially if she's like, you know, super aggressive and clothes start flying off and then you're just going to be like, whoa, what the heck? So anyway, generally, most guys are going to fall into something and the same can happen to women. So generally, Islam cuts off the doors to this stuff, you know, and there's even a hadith about this, about cutting off the doors to, to fornication, you know, to not even approach it. So generally, from an Islamic perspective, you do not want to end up in a situation where, um, you know, you're alone with a girl or whatever else, or your girl's alone with a guy, there's no problem with mate guarding in Islam. You know, you separate the genders and you're active in this, you're proactive in this, you know. Um, and there's even talking about in Islam, uh, the day'uth, the, the cookhold. And, you know, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that, you know, the one who doesn't have protective jealousy over his woman, he's a day'uth, he's a cookhold. Next, I want to answer this from the animalist kingdom world biological perspective let me ask you something have you ever seen a pack animal with an alpha at its lead be it wolves lions dolphins orcas whatever else you pick any sort of pack animals that has an alpha leader does he not mate guard the females of his of his pack or his pod or whatever it's called that they run in their group is this not pretty standard a bull has how many Bulls, or uh, excuse me, a herd has how many bulls? It has one. And if there's multiple, what do they do? They butt heads until somebody gives up. And in that one has exclusive access to the females. So if we're using the placeholder terms of alpha and beta, which come from the animal kingdom, how is it that the alpha of a pack or a herd or a tribe or whatever you want to call those animals that they run in that group, how is it that that alpha is not a beta for mate guarding? Explain that to me. It doesn't make sense. So I wouldn't consider it to be beta. But we're going to get into like some beta type of behaviors in mate guarding. But let's continue. What you find in the red pill world is, is uh, that a lot of the guys that are saying this stuff, that mate guarding is a beta attribute. These are the guys, they're trying to get you to do 50% of their work, which is clear the pathway, clear the roadway to women. You know, I talked about this in my in my tweet about, you know, why guys hate hijab and why guys hate niqab and burqa and all this stuff. Because they want free reign and free sexual access to women, be it visually or actually physically. So if they can move all the obstacles out of the way as a filtration process, uh, then of course, of course they're going to want that. So why wouldn't he go online and say, it's beta to mate guard? Why wouldn't he do that? I guarantee you the same guys that are saying this stuff are the same guys that will sleep with people's wives. The guys who go for low-hanging fruit, you know? And, you know, that's not to, to crap on, on wives. I'm not saying that wives aren't hot. But the simple fact is if you're going for married women, you're, you're going for low-hanging fruit. You might as well just start picking up rotten fruit off the ground and eating it. Because that's an easy target because a married woman who's out looking to get some, she's out there trying to just get some. She'll give it to anybody. So obviously these guys can't do better, but that's a different topic. Nevertheless, the point is that these guys are trying to clear the pathway as best as possible. And they're trying to get you to do their work for them. It doesn't make sense otherwise. Now let's get into like mate guarding when it can be beta. Now, if you're going to sit there and like argue with the guy and argue with your girl later on about this stuff, then you might have some beta type tendencies and pro you know problems. If you're going to sit there and fight the guy, you know, over your woman who's not clear who she came there with, wherever you may be, if it's in a store or if you people who are not Muslim, you go to clubs or whatever else, or or you're in a park and some guy starts running up and doing some day game or some bar game or whatever else, and you 
quote unquote intervene, you step in and you're like, hey, you know what? Uh, What's going on? Oh, I see you met my girl. Blah blah blah. My I'm so and so. You know I'm Abu American. Whatever else. And if my girl at that point doesn't catch the signals, and that guy doesn't catch the signals, and everybody seems like they just want to sort of stay there and talk after I just showed up, then anything I do past that, past that point can be beta. At that point, this is where my non scarcity mindset kicks in. I'm like, okay, she, she all right. I see what's going on here with girl. All right, I'm gonna step and I'm gonna go pick up one of my back plates and I'm gonna put her on the front burner. And in my current plate, be she my, my wife or a potential, she goes on the back burner, if not get divorced and, you know, kicked out the crib. I'm not going to sit there and I'm not going to fight some guy, turn my knuckles bloody, you know, rolling around on the ground doing jujitsu and punching guys out or whatever else over a woman who's not clear who she's with. I'm not going to do that. I came up, I made my stance clear. Hey, this is my girl. My girl, if she can't claim me after I claimed her, non-scarcity mindset kicks in. I'm done. I'm done. I go home, it was my wife, she comes home after me, because I'm not going to stand there, argue, are oh, you coming, baby? Oh, trying to pull her away from the guy or whatever else. No, I'm just going to walk off, I'm going to drive off, she can take a bus home, she can take a car home with that guy, whatever else. But when she comes home, no joke, Abu American is telling you, her stuff is on the doorstep in a trash bag. And I've done it before, I did it in Qatar. Don't make me get that girl on here and, and, and like, just... Have her admit it. I put her stuff in a trash bag, and I and this was before I became Red Pill. I put her stuff in a garbage bag. It wasn't one garbage bag. The girl had a whole bunch of junk, and I put it outside the door. When she showed up, she had to catch a taxi with her garbage bags. No lie. So, fighting dudes, arguing with your girl, trying to pull her away from the guy, whatever else, when she doesn't want to, all that type of beta behavior. But like basic mate guarding, nah, that's not that's not beta. Now, if you Go up and your girl wants to come with you and she's like, ah, you know, awkward or whatever else. Or she's just not interested. And then the dude wants to try and like, you know, amog you, you know, and then just trying to make the situation awkward. Then, yeah, do what you got to do, man. You know what I'm saying? And and just be completely uh, unapologetic about it. If you're in a store, grab a glass ball off the shelf, smack him in the head. I'm not even playing. You know, if a guy want to be a douchebag, just let him be a douchebag. Kick him in his balls. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you got to do. Whip out a knife. Cut him, you know. That's if he's being a douchebag and your girl is doing her part. Because now the dude's just looking for trouble. And there's no need to go through the whole escalation process. Just go from zero to 100 right then and there because the guy's just looking for trouble. Give it to him. And that's not a joke either. Anyway, I think I covered it all. This is your man, Abu American. Catch me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that Abu American. Agree, disagree. Drop your comments in the section down below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'm out. Who wants to fight? Aha. I'm only taking the brave. I'm not taking the scary. I'm not taking no girls. Are you ready to fight?